Just lift your hands and exalt his holy name this morning. Bless him this morning in your own words, for he is great and greatly to be praised. Lord, we worship and exalt you this morning. There is none like you, King of Kings. There is none like you, Lord of Lords. We worship and exalt your holy name. We are here because of you this morning. Rekada bayana mashaka ya la mahande Bwana umestahili heshima asubuhi ya leo Rekaya ramashe la bahande Bwana umeketi juu ya enzi zote Rana mashala bahande Mioyo yetu ya kusifu mioyo yetu ya kuhimidi Shela mahande ria mashaka ya la babosha Bwana hakuna kama wewe Hakuna kama wewe Shela bari ya babo salabaya Oh, just continue exalting his name Shela bahanderi ya masata Moyo wangu Sifu buwana Na vyote Dani yangu Lihimidi Jina lake Kwa kuwa Yeyu mwema
the wine of Jesus. Tumshirekemungwezi wewe ni jaire wewe ni shama Mungu mwenye uweza shando bororobo suka bayana reda bagando bororobo suka bayana uweza wote ni wako mamlaka yote ni yako heshima zote ndio mikono yako juu tumuinue bwana ndio pia na moyo wako forget about everything else lift up the name of Jesus oh for our lord is great and greater to be praised is you Lord? Eda bagando bozoka barabashanda. Reta bagando borro bozuka bayanda. Reta baba 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 kanto bozonta. We lift you on high. We lift you on high. Yada mashando borro bozenta. Your name is the King of Kings, Jesus. Yara da bayando bozonta. Reta baba 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 bayanda. I am exalted, I am exalted. You are worthy of all the praises. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the power. You are worthy of Jehovah. Try to receive. Try to ibada. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody exalt the name of Jesus. Tunai mungu, tunai mwenye uweza. Mamlaka eshima na ngovu. Oh, belong to you. Hey, belong to you. It belongs to you. Oh, Shanda Baramagana. Rada Mazanto Bazota. Reta Bayando Borro Bozenta. Rita Bayando Borro Boza. Randa Baba 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 Yande. Reta Bayana Bashana. Rakana Baba 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 Shana. We gather to lift your name. We gather early morning to declare your name. Tunaya Mungu. Tunaya Falme. Oh, we celebrate your name. We celebrate your power. We celebrate your greatness. Our Lord and our King. Uja badilika. Hauta wai badilika. Uweza mamlaka. Heshima nizako. Shanda bara 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 bazatai. Somebody magnify Jesus this morning. We came to celebrate you have a king. We came to celebrate the Lord of the throne, the scepter of your power, the scepter of your power, Lord, all over the earth, from the end to the end, oh Jesus, you reign, from the heavens to the earth, Lord, you reign. Rakayana Bashantai, Rato Baba 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 Zenta, Ride Bayando, Rata Bayande Rebozota, Umwema, Wastaele, Shikara Lama Zanto Bozota, Mary Etia Quinua, Mary Etia Kubariki, Totangaza Weza, Totangaza Weza, Eshimana Mamulaka, Sotan Isako, Edge Over, Somebody worship the Lord. We came to worship. This is the only thing you can give to God. Oh, and he says he's looking for worshipers. Oh, he's seeking for worshipers. Who worship him in truth and in spirit. Loving and exalting. Exalting the Lord. Glorifying his name together. Filling the whole of this sanctuary. With the beauty of his holiness. With the power of his glory. Because whenever we praise him, his glory comes down. His power comes down. Oh, you're magnified in the congregations of your people, Lord. Hey, what can you do, Jesus? What can you do, Jesus? Miracle working God, wonder working God. Your miracles, oh Lord, are unnumbered, oh Jehovah. They are too numerous to mention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the hell? Uliya fungua bahari ya shamu. What's the hell? Uliya ngusha farao. What's 
Sasa ele Mamlaka yote na sifa zote Hata na minele Tuakupa buwana Tuakupa buwana Zee ararara wa mashenda Rada baba Someone make God happy Exalt his holy name Sanctify his name Declare his power Declare his greatness Praises can never end Praises that can never end They belong to Jesus The King of Kings They belong to Jesus The Lord of Lords The Mighty One Oh Shandabara Mazentai Call him the Lord of Hosts Yes you are the Lord of Hosts Shidera Mazenka Bayana Rana Maya Tomo Zontai To the Queen of Wan To the Kusi Kufalbe Usia Shidwa Hey Wewe milele Ya 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 da na 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 Mwere le bozota He's called the God of Abraham The God of Isaac The God of Jacob By this name forever shall he be What is your name? What is your name? You feel the heavens Lord You feel the earth Lord Oh you feel the earth Lord Oh, she did a little bazooka. Red up, 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 Hudamana ne ne mo shindara na na Rada bayande yana Oh Jesus Shakara rabagan to bodo bo shindara And I will love you Oh shando bo 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 shindara Rekada ba 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 Rada bayan to bodo do bo shindara Somebody express your love to God As a man talks to a man Talk to God as a man talks to a man. Giving him all the glory. Giving him all the honor. Giving him all the power. Expressing your love. Oh yes, unto he that dwells between the cherubims. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Shav. Shakarana namazinta. Just look at God. And talk to him, express your love. Tell me, I, I love you, Lord. You're just too precious to my life. Where could I be without you, Lord? The lover of my soul. All oh, that's called worship. A pure heart of worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. Your name is exalted over so there. So Fanya mapenzi abwana karibu. Penzi ya buwana Karibu roho Fanya mapenzi ya buwana We live to Jesus Karibu roho We live to Jesus Fanya mapenzi Karibu roho Karibu roho
we lift up your name from this altar oh God declaring your greatness declaring you never change oh power belongs to you Lord oh summon might you fill the heavens you fill the heart you are great even in hell there is no one there shall never be anyone like you God receive all our praises receive our worship be glorified in our midst it's all about you we lift up your name and we honor you. In Jesus' name we praise. In Jesus' name we praise. Somebody praise the Lord. Do your best. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said somebody Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Have you jumped today for Jesus? Have you jumped for Jesus today? Have you jumped for Jesus today? I'll jump for you, okay? Have you jumped for Jesus today? Come on, ask your neighbor. Are you happy about Jesus? Come on, talk to somebody. We love the Lord. It is not a secret. Hallelujah. We are crazy about Jesus and the devil can do nothing about it. Come on, say something. Are you crazy about Jesus? Yes. Are you madly in love with Jesus? Praise the Lord one more time. Can we? But I want a song that people can dance, my dear. Uh, people are singing like, hey, hey, how, how can we just wake up to come and show God? I, I came to you. Uh, no, no, no. Tell them, but never. Tell them, tell them, I'm madly in love with this Jesus. Come on, tell them, I'm mad with Jesus. I'm madly in love with Jesus. Come on, give me something. Cook something. We have come to worship you only and be happy. King of kings, extra, extra. Lion of Judah. We have come to worship you only, King of kings, Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. We have come Let me see you to sweet. worship you only, Make a King dance of kings, anyhow. Lion of Judah. We, we have, have come to worship you only, King of kings. Lion of Judah, Giving you everything, my shangwe. Let's go. 
at this one, at this one inch from the ground for Jesus. Jump, 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 one more time, turn, 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 jump, 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 I hear you give the Lord a shout of praise, cross our way. appreciate them as they are looking they look nice god bless you please help me receive your neighbors all around you tell them you're just so blessed to be here receive them nicely all your neighbors all of them back front side up down wherever you get a neighbor receive them receive them they are all blessed in jesus name amen you be seated please after you have received all your neighbors hallelujah Tell your neighbor you are in the best year ever. Come on, let them know. Tell them you are in the best year ever. The things that will happen to you through you this year, if they were told you, you would not believe them. I didn't hear an amen this morning. This is your year of open doors for your refreshment. Hallelujah. Akuta kuwa na kukwama. Akuta kuwa na kulemewa. Hallelujah. It's your best year ever. I wish I get 100% amen this morning. Are you still there? Help me prophesy to your neighbor. Tell them, this is your best year ever. Tell them and the devil can do nothing about it. Glory to Jesus. Please stand with me to the word of God. I want to read 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 11. I felt today to bring what is called spiritual awareness. Be aware. Be aware. Please stand with me. Get your notebook. Get your pen. Get your Bible. And get ready for king's business this morning. The Bible says, if you are there, are you there? Are you there now, everybody? Second Corinthians is on the screen. Second Corinthians chapter 2 in verse number is 11. The Bible says, rest Satan should get or should take an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. Give me also in NIV. Give me also in NIV. Same verse, just one verse. One verse is enough. Give it to NIV. Thank you so much. In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not an aware, an aware, ignorant, and aware of his scheme. Today, the Lord bless the reading of his word. Today, I came to bring awareness, spiritual awareness or enlightening of every believer in this house. My prayer today is that you may see beyond the physical. Hallelujah. Because life is not just in the physical. The physical is a manifestation of the spiritual. It is a spiritual that gives birth to the physical world. Amen. Before there was sun, there was moon. My baby girls, have I prayed for you kids? Not yet. Please come for prayer. Come. Come kids. Come, 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 come. 
Come, little ones. Always come. Even if we don't call you, just come. Even if we forget, just come. You are very important. These are our VIPs. I say these are our, our very important people. Oh God. When I see them, I see great future. We have not done anything yet. What we don't accomplish, you will accomplish. Where we don't go, you will go. Our failures, will, you will turn to success. Hallelujah. You drive your cars when you are very young. You build your houses when you are very young. You will be godly people. You will be precious before God forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive these kids. You said, whosoever receives them, receives you. We receive them in the covenant of our God. We declare to them, the kingdom belongs to them. They are a success. They are great. They are not sick. They are not losers. They are our arrows. Even to speak with our enemies at the gates. I declare to them life, peace, godliness and success in Jesus name. You are blessed. Hey, say something. You are blessed. God bless you. Now, I am bringing spiritual awareness because we are not alone in this earth. Kuna majama wengine. Tell your neighbor, kuna majama wengine. We, we are not alone. We are not alone in the universe. There are also spirits that live with us here. And if we be ignorant, as you see the scripture saying, for we are not ignorant in order that we may not... Give me King James Version. Give me King James Version again. New King James Version. He says, the Satan should take advantage. We don't want to be taken advantage of we don't want to walk in ignorance if we walk in ignorance the enemy will take advantage of that so it's important for us to be spiritually awake to be spiritually aware can i get at this one amen let me show you give me both colossians 1 16 and then ephesians 6 12 just to start opening our eyes. Tell your neighbor had to go back yet. So you must be able to see beyond the physical things. So that we can, you see, there is what you call um, autopilot. Living an autopilot life. That you, you, you're just living and you, you, are, you, you are pressed, you are buttons of autopilot. You, you just assume everything will just be okay. Please, that is called ignorance. Come on, talk to me. You know, I was being introduced yesterday by our GS, General Secretary, the mission yesterday in Krenyaga. And he was telling me, be aware of African science. You know, do you know African science? Okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't know African science. Yesterday I was introduced to African science. Look at this. Verse 16. Verse number 16. 1 6. The Bible says, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth. Look at the next word. There are those things that are visible and there are other things that are invisible, whether they be what? Thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers. They are strata's. If I get enough time today, I'll try to be very fast. To introduce to you what these are. I'll try to introduce to you what are thrones, what are dominions, what are principalities, and what are powers. But he's talking about that God or Jesus created both worlds. The visible, the star, the moon, the star, the, 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 the Jupiter, the Pluto, everything that you see in the physical, the physical earth, the plants. But he also created the invisible world where there are thrones, where there are dominions, where there are principalities, where there are powers. And the Bible says all things were created 
through him and to him give me Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 12 Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 12 Ephesians 6 12 the Bible says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood look at this now that there are things that are also beyond flesh and beyond blood yet by this introduction it tells you there is a warfare between us and them did you see that come on church yes or no yes or no did you see last string did you see last string anywhere in the scripture against what against principalities powers against rulers of darkness of this age and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places we have seen in colossians jesus created something beyond all things beyond the physical world then the bible and they were called thrones and dominions and powers and principalities and then uh, apostle paul continue to tell us that these things are not just things out there they are responsible for warfare am i trying my best am i doing something i'm not scaring you i'm saying we cannot be ignorant we cannot be caught unawares we cannot have the devil out with us we got to open our eyes we cannot be deceived the way he deceived our mama eve somebody say i refuse to be deceived somebody say i refuse to be deceived so he says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against these principalities against powers against rulers of this pleasant age against spiritual wickedness in the high places so by just this introduction my brothers and sisters it tells you we are not alone and not, I'm not saying you are powerless I'm just saying you are more than a conqueror if you are aware I'm just saying the devil is under your feet only if you are aware but if you be ignorant he will take advantage of what come on talk to me what is the devil taking advantage of what is ignorance? What is ignorance? Do I have teachers in the house? Please remind me. How many teachers do I have in the house? Huh? No, no, not Swahili teachers this time. And not history teachers this time. I, I'm talking teachers from... Don't not say from where I don't want to say that. But listen. The devil would catch you because of your ignorance. Lack of knowledge. Amen lack of knowledge is a scheme the devil is using he has arranged himself i'll show you the thrones and dominions and principalities at the end of this service his time allows but i want to tell you that if you be awake you shall master because you are more than conquerors you shall master and keep the enemy at his place under your feet but if you walk in autopilot just existing no prayer i don't care you don't bind them let me tell you if you don't bind the devils they'll bind you if you don't deal with the enemy he will deal with you in warfare is either you kill or you'll be killed come on what do you choose god bless you because in warfare it's either you are winning or you are losing amen and as you have seen that we are in wrestling not that we can be defeated but many believers are being caught unawares they are being put in traps they are being pulled aside by the devil thinking the devil is joking around with you first peter 5 8 first peter 5 8 first peter 5 8 please follow me all through you'll be blessed today and also verse 9 be do be what be sober be vigilant be sober and be this are is how you walk you must walk 
sober. Sober in Swahili, kamacho. Be aware. Be cognizant. Be able to discern. Be sober. And number two, be vigilant. Amen. Kesha, amka, kuwa macho, kuwa mwangalifu. Be sober and be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a luring lion, seeking him whom he may devour. Number one, he tells me we are not available. So he's trying hard. That tells me many believers are awake. So he tries hard. If you see him looking and looking, it's because we are hidden. We are not exposing ourselves. Come on, talk to me, church. Amen. Because the Bible says, if you are not sober, I'm interpreting that. If you are not vigilant, if you be ignorant, if you, if you stay not vigilant, the devil atakuta funa tafuna. Thank you, mommy. I'll give you for the front seat. You better keep me preaching. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, the devil is not happy about you, but it doesn't matter. I don't want even even to be my, I don't want him, him even to be happy. If I can make him more mad, it's better. Amen. Hallelujah. You must be sober and vigilant to keep the devil looking and never to get you. Don't avail yourself to be torn apart by the enemy. Don't make yourself available to be messed up your life. If you are sober, if you want to prosper in your business, if you want to enjoy your family life, if you want to stay strong in this world that God created you and gave you new life, you must be sober. You must stay awake. You must be vibrant in your spirit. You must be able to smell the devil. Don't be ignorant of the devil's schemes. You must be able to smell it sounds good, but it's not from God. It looks nice, but that's not the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible tells me in Corinthians that even nowadays, the devil has turned himself to be what? Angel of, of light. He never comes with seven horns. My imagination is that the devil is green in color. Because I didn't like green. I, my imagination is that it looks ugly. But, but let me tell you. He will never appear like that. The devil will always come in a suit. So not everybody in a suit and a tie is an angel. Some guys in suits and ties are demons. So, come on. Not me now. I'm talking about the guys. I'm telling you. The Bible tells me. Have you ever seen that scripture? Second Corinthians 7, 14. Be quick. Look at this. So you must be, unless you're spiritually awake, I'm heading somewhere. I'm laying my foundation, taking you somewhere. Unless you're spiritually awake, you'll be caught unawares. The devil will mess your business. The devil will mess your family. The devil will tear you apart. The devil will make a mock of you. He'll pull you from services. He'll tell you don't have to go because he is under a scheme. He is a deceiver. One of his greatest strategy known in history, he's a liar. He never speaks the truth. When he speaks a lie, he speaks his mother tongue. 11 14. 11 14. Please. It's a day of bringing spiritual awareness. The devil cannot get what any one of us. Oh, yes, he can keep looking. He's not going to get us. And no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself as what? As an angel of light. Unless you have discernment. And that's why by the end of this service, you, I must wake up your, your discernment. You must be able to see beyond physical. You must be able to hear beyond what people are saying. Because not everything people are saying, they mean what they are saying. Come on, help me, church. 
you must be able to see beyond the physical world. Because the Bible says, no wonder, somebody say, no wonder. No wonder for Satan himself transforms himself as an angel of light. He is an angel of darkness. The truth is that the devil doesn't have a tail. If you're looking for a tail, you'll not see it. The devil doesn't have horns. If you're looking for horns, you're not going to see them. The devil comes in suit and in beautiful colors. The devil comes with good music. The devil comes with good ideas. Good ideas. Do you see how he approached our mama Eve? That's why 1 Corinthians 11 says, do not, I, I pray that you don't be deceived as our mama Eve was deceived. He will never, he will always come in a crafty way. He knows you want money. He will come the money way. He knows you want to get married. He will bring you the girl you want. He knows what you desire most. Please, as God is coming, that devil is also coming. As God is blessing you, I'll show you even in the life of Jesus in Matthew chapter 4 or Luke chapter 4. Even as God has desired to bless you, watch out, the devil also comes as an angel of light. Am I speaking devil, devil today? Am I becoming a devil preacher today? Have I become a devil preacher? Am I still a Jesus preacher? You know one thing I find very rare to, to, to my prayer, to my services is to mention devil. Because it's, no, no, it's not my business. But today, I was cautioned to make you aware of the enemy's schemes. Hallelujah. Because this is your best year ever. Hallelujah. Stay awake. Stay alert. Be vigilant. Sniff the devil. That is Satan. That is his brother. That is his cousin. That is his auntie. I can't join you. Hallelujah. You must be spiritually awake. Look at this. The whole earth. Take a the whole earth. I was reading this in 1 John. 5.19. 1 John. 5.19. The Bible says this. Come on, please get there. The Bible says, and we know, and, and we know that we are of God. But the whole world lies in the hands of the wicked one. Look at that scripture by itself. That me I know. I am of God. I am full of God. But the environment that I am in is in the control of the wicked one who is Satan. Do you see that? That I am aware. Be aware. Be cognizant. Be awake, be sober, that yes, we know, we, we understand, we are full of the Holy Ghost. But the world we are in is not full of the Holy Ghost. The world is in the control of the enemy. Unless you be aware of this, you cannot control the world from the inside. The world will control you from the outside. Know that the forces that are outside, they are being controlled by the evil one. But you are full of Jesus. So it should be something from you. To command the world. But don't let the world to command you. In their fashion. In their manner of life. In their speeches. Oh Jesus. It troubles me even today to say poor. Even today. Because anything coming from the world. I, I, I stay cautious. You should not. The devil is. Imagine the devil. Evil is hot. Evil is hot. Evil is hot. Evil is hot. Evil is Because Jesus said. You either be hot or cold. Remember. The whole world. Is in the control. Of the wicked one. He controls systems. The president's. That you see in the world. Can I tell you this? And I know it's not a shocker to many. Most of them, they are appointed by the devil. Not your vote. Most of the presidents you see in the world. I tried to study at one time several of the presidents. 
I found some of them even that I thought were very good. I discovered they were members of, like one that I studied thinking he was a good guy. I discovered he was a member of a club called Skulls and Bones. Skulls and Bones, I don't feel, I don't think that is a Pentecostal church. He was a member of that. I found his name. He's a member of Skulls and Bones. The whole world, the systems of the world, the languages of the world, the fashions we are wearing, most of them, they are designed by hell. So, we are in a world that is full of the wicked, but thank God, we are full of God. We can command the world. We can keep principalities and powers and rulers of darkness under our control. For greater is he that is in us. Come on, help me, church. A big girl, you got to say amen today. Come on, church. I'm saying, greater is he that is in us. Than he. Than he. Hallelujah. I'm bringing awareness, not to make you fear, but to awake you up. We go to keep the devil running for his money. Now listen. Let me move forward now. I think I've awakened some of you. Matthew, Mark tells me, the book of Mark tells me, in Mark 3.22, I'll read 22 and I'll read 27. Now look at this. Mark. Mark chapter 2. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but test. Hey, write that one somewhere. First John chapter 4 verse 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but test if, test the spirit whether they are of God because many false prophets have gone out to the world. First John 4 1. It says, Beloved, even before I go to the next level of my ministry, listen, it says, Beloved, do not believe every. I like it when you first doubt. When anybody tells you something, think it first. Before you get excited, test first. Smell fast. Amen. Because the world is full of deception. Hallelujah. For the enemy to put you in hot soup, he can never come with a boiling pot. He will always come with one thing that will help to lead to another, to another. And you know, I like that skit that was performed by teenagers here. Do you remember the skit they performed? Was it powerful? I wish they are here today to perform it. I would stop preaching and just allow us to watch it and go home. I watched that girl. I think she was standing right here. And I saw their relationship with Jesus. And they were dancing very nicely with Jesus, enjoying every good thing that's from God. She's dressing white. And then on the, le on the other side, the devil is trying to entice, show money, show wine, show something happy, show some dances that the, the, devil, the, the girl feels like there's something in this guy and she's getting pulled and coming, getting pulled and coming. The devil must entice you. He cannot tell you this is your way to hell. He must always show you something funny, somebody nice, something cool, some movie, something, something. But what you don't know, he's filling you with his spirits. I cannot imagine. I was not there. But I cannot imagine that in a youth, a Holy Ghost filled youth a camp, they would be taught about masturbation. I cannot imagine. But it's still being taught. It's still being taught. Do you know? And I listened to that topic. And you guys who are being advised, where does this spirit come from? It's from what you watch. The devil does not tell you. He wants you to become immoral. He will let you just watch a cartoon, watch a movie here, and the movie has got some spirit. It's downloading. Come on, be aware. Be aware. Be vigilant. Be sober, church. Because the devil can never come with horns. He will throw a movie. And I'm telling you, that movie will keep you late night so that you don't wake up for morning glory. Are you not sober? Ask your neighbor, are you sober? Are you sober of your spiritual life? 
How can you be watching a movie late night and you know yet God expects you early in the morning to call upon his name? Are you not being stolen by a movie, by a dance, by something, by some cash that you had to go to take in a bar, that you have to go and sit with guys for seven hours in a bar? Because... Anyway, you know, I saw believers in Nairobi, they drink wine. Ask your neighbor, are you one of them? Mulize kukweli, wewe ni mlevi, mulize. Mwangali, ay, wacha kumwangali ya maskio. Na ukiona na inama una mgonga gonga. Ukiona jirani ya na inama una muliza, we, kweni, kweni niwe tunaongelelea. Mulize, wewe, kwa luli naswa. Si mapenzi yake unamsaidia saa hii. Muulize kwenu linaswa. Kuna pepo za Nairobi niligundua. Ambazo zili za high life. Na zina ajaribu kukudanganya kwamba wokovu ule wa kweli ni pepo. Wacha nikwambie, hizo ni pepo. Be aware. The devil is not taking you to the bottle. The devil is taking you to hell. I got very few amen. Are you all drunk? I, am I speaking to drunkards? Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, church. You see, I went to a, a, a lunch somewhere and one of my beautiful sisters, I didn't know that she wanted me to take at least, I don't remember what percent it went. I think it was only 5%. If I percent, is it too much? <laughs> Let me tell you the amount of alcohol you take. You take zero percent. You take alcohol only zero percent. I'm fighting some guys here now. Are you a drunkard? Umesha naswa. Leo tunakuna suwa. Somebody say, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. You see, you must understand the schemes of the devil. He doesn't come and just tell you. I'm saying that because I know my sisters who are born again, spirit-filled, I've walked with them, with the Lord, and then you come and you meet them and they are buying you lunch, but it has got an accompaniment or accompaniment of a drink. When did you become a drunkard? When can't you just enjoy being filled with the Holy Ghost? Can I get more amens today? I may, I, I may be assured we are going to heaven together. Ata kama ulikunywa na kutakasa leo. Quite be sober. It's a scheme of the enemy. Be sober. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where were we? Beloved, do not believe every spirit. But test the spirit whether they are of God. Please. It's important to discern. Elewa tu kwamba. Dunia hii si yetu. Na yale mambo mungu anataka tuish. You see the Bible says, the lust of the world, the desires of the flesh, they are not of our father. Amen. We should every day, you should grow more and more like God. Ephesians 5, 1, be ye an imitator of every day we are getting closer and closer and closer to our God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let me continue. I wanted to go somewhere because I know this topic has carried me the whole night. And I was watching Jesus in Mark 3 verse 22 and 27. And the Bible says, and the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, he has Beelzebub and by the prince of the devils, he cast out devils. In verse 27, please watch your Bible. I mean, Mark chapter 2, verse 27 now. Mark chapter 3, verse 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods. Expect he will first bind the strong man and he will spoil the house. I will take it again now that it's on the screen. And he said to them, uh -uh, chapter 3, Surah and be sober, my brother, and vigilant. 
because you are enemy the devil hovers around there god bless you no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house can i get any man for that you see the scribes had not understood the ministry of jesus but when they saw how he was moving you see he is in the world but he is controlling the spiritual world which you and me must continue doing amen we are surrounded by devils but we are in charge come on talk to me even devils must be subject to you god bless you that's our official position hallelujah the bible says that the scribes they say this one the way he's binding the devils is because he is in league with them one verse 22 he is in league with devils that's why he's succeeding in his ministry yes you can succeed in ministry hallelujah look at me keep your eyes on me not on your nails not on your what else are you looking at either you are writing tell your neighbor be sober tell them be vigilant kama hii topic wacha nikwambie ina mkwaza shetan anashangaa kulikucha kwa nini but he can do nothing about it we are in charge we are in control he doesn't keep our calendar we keep our own calendar he doesn't control our diary we control our diary we go where we want we do what we want not what the enemy tells us to do we are beyond that somebody shout i'm vigilant when you're not vigilant, the devil controls. He keeps your diary. He can tell you when to go to church, when to go to Kesha, and when not to go. He can tell you to fast or not to fast. Don't give the devil that opportunity. Be sober. Be in charge. You see, when the scribes watched the ministry of Jesus in Jerusalem, they said, this man is in league with demons. How can he succeed so much? Just like the ministers of today. Most of the pastors, no, not most, I'm sorry to use the word most, but some of the wicked pastors that, and prophets and, that are doing churches today, they are doing it in league with Satan. And I know you know that. And I know you know their prophecies. And I know you know their divination. Are you aware or not? Not. You must be able to smell. You must be able to sniff anything that you see please sniff fast test the spirits i'm getting now another zero amen when you happen a kule huh ndio kuna watu bado tunahubiria na kale kachupa alipewa kako empty lakini kama fungiwa kitu ana kabebaga ambao hii chupa usiwahi kuacha haina kitu lakini usiwahi kuiacha si haina kitu ina kitu kuna vitu umebeba let me tell you they had, I was told by the prophet who was here, not Malton, the other prophet who came the other time. He told me, Pastor, go to city mortuary on Friday. You, you are spending your night in Kesha. Go to city mortuary on Friday. This one. He told me, you not just find dead men there. You'll find pastors there who go to sleep with dead bodies to get power to preach for the week. Yes, it happens. It's all over. It's all over. They, they, they thought Jesus was in that club. Jesus was in the conqueror's club, club. We know who we are. I say we know who we are. We don't need any other thing to do business. We want the power of the Holy Ghost. Deuteronomy 8 and verse number 18. The Bible says he gives us power to make wealth. Come on, talk to me, church. You don't need any power to get promotion. You need power for it doesn't come from the east or west. It comes from God. Get everything you want from God. And you must be aware, cognizant, sober, vigilant, because some of the people you are with or competing with, they are using what I'm saying. 
But if you master our game, they and their father, they are under your feet. They can never control you unless they invite you for their meals and you eat with them and you're not sober. Unless they give you their things and you're not sensitive while they are giving you their stuff and you're not sober. Come on, church. You must live. Today I'm teaching you to smell the devil. This is Satan. Because he will come as an angel of the light. Let me continue because I've got a lot of business to do with you. And the Bible says, in verse number 27, Jesus taught how he was doing what he was doing. He says this, no one can enter a strong man's house and be able to plunder his goods unless he's fast. Now where are you going? I told you be sober and be. Unless he first bangs a strong man and then he plunder his house. Listen, church. This is how Jesus operated until he said he has Beelzebub. He knew the secret. He had to be strong in the spirit. You can never enter in control of an environment unless you are stronger than the environment. Did I tell you who controls the world? Did I tell you who controls the world? First John 5.19 did I tell you, did I make you aware? But listen, we are here to dominate. The Bible says, I give you dominion. But dominion must be taken. Amen. And so, early in the morning, Mark 1, that 5, Jesus would go to a mountain and pray. Stop being an ignorant believer. You don't just conquer because Jesus conquered. No, 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 no. You conquer because you are receiving his victory. Let's stop the autopilot kind of life. Utarogwa, my friend. Mwambie mwenzako utarogwa. Eh, na lakini tulisema kwa kesha, dikesha ama nini tusema tunarogwa sana. Tulikuwa ni Wednesday. Tu, ni Wednesday ama nini? Ni 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 ama ni Sunday. Kesha. Eh, tulikubali tunarogwa. Kurogwa ni kawaida, si ndio? Hata sasa labda wananiroga na mimi na preach. Si ndio? Lakini inalingana umesimama wapi? Mana kurogwa ni lazima. Kurogwa? People who hate you. Hata ufanyi kabia sharakali kawa kadogo. Kuna mtu atasikia, ah, aji. Unaelewa? But inalingana tumesimama wapi? Tumesimama mahali atuwezi rogeka. Tulisoma kumbu kumbu, eh, numbers na ituaji. Hesabu. Eh, shina tatu na msadu wa kuminatisa. We are unrogwa bo. There is no divination over Jacob. I mean over Israel. There, there is no divination over, there is no witchcraft against Jacob. There is no divination over Israel. It shall be said of us, look at what the Lord has done. If you are aware, be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6 and verse number 11. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because we know where we dwell I see God saying to the church of Reve in, a, in a church in Revelation, He says to them, I know where you dwell. You dwell at the throne of Satan. I know it. Najua Kule, is it a Palga? What's that name of that church? Pa uh, the name of that church. He, he says to it, I know where you dwell in Revelation chapter, is it chapter two or chapter three. Chapter three. He says, I know where you dwell. I know you dwell at the throne of Satan. Let me tell you, so long as you have got great Jesus, you can plunder the house of the devil. There is a lot of wealth in this world, but it's not freely given. Be strong in the Lord. There is a lot of opportunities in this world, but I encourage you, you must be strong in the Lord. So being weak in prayers, so being weak in the spiritual matters. So being weak in fasting. I saw last fasting. Majama wali tutoroka hapa. Tukianza umwezi. Hey. Ungefikiri ni kainzae watu kumina watano. Uliona iyo? Mimi zijayu kuwa na fasting tangu mwaka jana. Majama wame tutoroka hivo. Nana waelewa. Lakini nda kuchauri vizuri. Usitoroke hizi vitu. Ndizo nguvu zetu. 
Because when I am weak, I am strong. You must know the source of our power. This fasting of April, though we are declaring the best year ever through it. Oh my God. Hey. Nani skungapi? Tat. Na kuomba. Jua sosi ya nguvu zetu. So being deceived by Manda. What can Mandazi give you? I have. Uh, what can Mandazi give you? Look at the enormous power we drew from prayer. Because we have got a world to conquer. We have demons to keep under our feet. And if you cannot control your flesh, you cannot command your flesh, then you are too weak. Amen. You must first command your body. Then command the devil. How can you command Satan, yet you can command your own body? Come on, church. Jesus was in charge. Let me move. Jesus was in charge. And he would rise up early in the morning. He would Kesha. Kesha was common with Jesus. And you know it. Even when he was going to the cross, that previous night, he was in Kesha. Was he in Kesha? So then why has Kesha become a burden to you? Are you not being deceived by the enemy? He's pulling you out. He's pulling you from the fire. He's pulling, pulling you from the things that made you strong. Then when you have been uh, put aside, he will tear you apart. He will make you his food. You will find yourself impregnating girls. Where did you begin? You be, he began by telling you, you don't have to go to Kesha. You don't have to go to fasting. You don't know. He's just pulling you. You know, he has got a strategy of six years. So if this year he manages just to pull you from Kesha, then the next year he manages to pull you from the evening service. Then the next year he manages you to pull you from fasting. By the seventh year, he know you are you become a demon like him. You will not go to church again. He's a he's a strategist. His strategy for you might be he has planned for you for the next nine years. He has said, Watch out, how many bind Leo? Eh? You know, I was talking to another sister last week, last week, yes. And she told me how she got it. Sister Jay told me how she got born again in the university. And the girls that brought her to Christ, and how hot they were for Christ. But she told me, Pastor, today, those girls are backslidden, they are serving the devil, they are drinking beer. Now they are lost. Let me tell you. You must be sober. Stop losing your ground. Stop losing what you have already acquired. Revelation chapter 3 verse number 11. Give it to me. Revelation chapter 3 verse number 11. It says, Revelation chapter 3 verse number 11. Behold, I'm coming quickly. Do what? Hold fast to what you have. Rest in one come and take your crown. The mileage that you have gained in Christ. If you have been serving in the ministry, never be deceived to stop serving. Ah, undugu amenikwaza. Not undugu. Be sober. Be awake. It's not the ndugu. It's a devil. The devil wants you to get out of the choir. The devil wants you to stop preaching. Even me, sometimes I get bored by church. I feel like, ah, I wish it was a contract of two years. Me in the beach. Oh. <laughs> I think I don't know. This might be the fourth, fifth year. I've never gone for my my leave. I don't know, four, fifth, or six. I don't know. You see, I also feel like, oh my God. Oh, I wish I see guys in the beach. I'm like, oh my God. I also have got my kakinyasa kalienda. Oh my God. I like, I like to walk to walk on the beach naked. Huh? Oh my God. Take sand and pack him on the chang out of Come on, church. When you see the devil trying to pull you from what ground you had gained, now you have already become a pastor. And then the devil tries to tell you, oh, no, you can. Please be sober. Be vigilant. Be awake. Be aware. Don't lose one inch. Don't lose one inch of how far God has brought you. Hold fast. Shikilia sana. Usuai kuangali ukasema nilikuwa naomba masaa matatu saa hii naomba moja be awake get back to where you belong 
I say get back because it might be a three year strategy, seven year strategy, the devil to pull you slowly, 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 lose this ground, lose ministry, lose this, then you lose your wife, then you lose your salvation. Just like that. And some of the people, he's planning just to kill you. When he has made you to backslide, then at that point, he kills you. And on the way to hell, because that is his business. Can I continue, church? So you must gain dominion like Jesus. The Bible says, he taught them, you must be strong fast. So that now you can enter the strong man's house and bind him. Because there's nothing for free. To be a strong believer is a deliberate life. It's an intentional life. For me to be preaching to you tonight, it's an intentional, it's a purpose life. It's not automatic. I'm just like you. I've given myself wholly to God. Come on, church. You must bind anything surrounding you. Be strong in the Lord. Be a man and woman of prayer. Stop ignoring those things that make you strong. Amen. Is the devil behind it? Am I, am I helping anybody this morning? Look. The Bible says this in Matthew 4 verse 9. I, I, I don't know how I would take this topic to where I wanted to go because I, it has gone slowly. Because I wanted to teach you about principalities. I wanted to teach you about spiritual mapping. I wanted to get you to go where you can just look at things and be able to understand your environment. But slow but sure. Amen. In Matthew 4 9, the Bible says, and he says to him, all things I will give you. Who is talking? Who is talking? Who is talking? Not the Holy Ghost. Who is talking? God bless you. He says to him, All things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, Come on, help me. Away with you, Satan. Please read it. Away with you, Satan. You. And him only. Can you imagine? You know, I told you the devil is everywhere. Can you imagine even Jesus was being tempted? And you see, because God had promised him to be the ruler of the world, the ruler of the universe. He's coming to bring the kingdom or to take the kingdom. Yet the devil has a, an offer. I told you, whatever you are looking for, be sober. Don't take it from the enemy. If you refuse to take it from the enemy, your promotion is coming, your wife is coming, your car is coming, your blessing is coming. And the devil says to Jesus, all oh, these things, New York, Johannesburg, eh, eh, Tel Aviv, what else do you want? No, Nairobi was not there at that time. Bangkok, I'll give it to you. If only you can bow down. Watch out enticement. I say, watch out the way the devil will entice you. Peremende ya koo, ndio wikule, lazima ipakwa sukari ukuju. Maana ikiwa kali utaitema mapema. You must be, ent ama peremenda koo, badu yiku. By the way, sorry. I'll talk something. Is it still there? It used to be green in color. Is, is it still there? How many know peremende ya koo? Is it still called koo? K double O. It changed. Because I used to know Gude Gude, Ko, Madfan, KSL, Tropico, <laughs> Patco, Rai, Tofi. Hey. No, no. Because Ko is somehow bitter in the inside. For them to make you to eat it, they sugar coat it at the top. So that as you put it in your mouth, even if you are a small child, mm, it's just sweet. Mm, it's just, but the real core is after you have eaten it up. <laughs> it will send you some few chills. In, for those who don't like it, it will send you some chills after you have eaten the whole sugar. Listen, you must be aware 
the devil will always entice you. He will tell you something. If he's tempting Jesus, I'll give you all things, but it's just a little thing that you have to do. Just bow down. Somebody say, I know you. Somebody say, I smell you. Somebody tell him, I see you beyond the physical. Now, I, I, has the devil ever succeeded in his mission? Luke 22, that one. Luke 22, that one. The Bible says, Jesus looked at Peter and said, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you like wheat. That's true. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you are returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Look at this statement. Is the devil, is the devil able to succeed against a believer? Jesus bet him 9-0. He told him, get away from me, Satan. It is written. He stood. His faith was firm. Any believer whose faith is not firm is suspectable. It's easy for him to be carried away. Watch out what you believe. Stand by what you believe. Thank you so much. Listen to me, church. Even Peter, a great brother and pillar of the church, the Lord Jesus says to him, Peter, watch out. Please tell your neighbor, Watch out. Please be sober. Every believer, get out of autopilot. Stop staying as if everything is okay. No, 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 no. You are being hunted. Some of you, the last three years, you have drifted so far. Watch where you are going. Turn back. Get to where you belong. Get out of the enemy's schemes. Get out of the enemy's plans. Can I get at least an amen today? Because I told you it's a seven-year program or a five-year program that he has and he knows after he is done with five years, you'll be completely destroyed out. You've never drunk. He gave you a little. You accepted. You've never smoked. He told you just, just a sniff. You have never slept with a woman and you just, ah, no, no, no. I was just touching the breeze. It's just, it's just a trial. But it cannot stop right there. He will take you all the way to hell. Hey, I miss my amens now. Somebody say I'm more than a conqueror. A am I preaching what the devil wants me to preach or what Jesus wants me to preach? We are unmasking the devil. We are bringing awareness to you. Look at this. Now I've got to be closing the next few minutes. I'll, I'll look for another time to get deeper with this so that we can understand this, the, the stratus of the enemy and understand what every rim does, the thrones, the dominions, the principalities, what they are all responsible with. But in the meantime, get this general message. It's going to be helping you. Simon, Simon, Satan. The devil has asked to sift you like wheat, but I've prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have returned, strengthen the brethren. Listen, the devil is asking for permission every time. I want to mess her up. You see, he asked for permission for job. Salvation is by choice. The Lord has given you free will. Did you see how devils and angels were fighting over the body of Moses? Do you remember? Do you remember when Moses was dying? Yeah? An angel of the devil stood, or the devil stood on this side. And an angel of God stood on this side. Every one of them was claiming Moses. Do you know what the claims the devil had for Moses? Ali Haku Haku Alfani Ali Asimungu Ali Gongama Ali Kwana Mashtaka Anakuagana Hatiaka Mashtaka. He's called the accuser of the brethren. He's standing here. He's saying, I want the devil. Says, I want Moses. He is mine. And the angel is standing on the other side speaking, the Lord forgive him. Come on. He belongs to God. They were fighting for the spirit of Moses. You, you know Moses is a man of God. But at his death, there was war. The devil knew. So now you know who was responsible with making Moses angry. Behind it. 
It's a scheme, church. Do I have anybody in the house now? It's a strategy of the enemy. He is giving you to do this and to do that. You're thinking it's you. I'm just angry. I'm bad with them. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. A demon is behind you. Overcome it. Run away from it. Beware of the enemy's schemes. When I saw that the enemies were fighting over the body of Moses, it wakes me up. That can be a little strategy, but it's leading you to hell. Had not the angel said, the Lord rebuke you, Moses will be in hell. They might be little strategies. Please, my brothers and sisters, watch out. Can I continue with this? Simon, Simon, Satan. The devil has asked to mess you up, but I've prayed for you. What did Jesus pray for, Moses, for Peter? Faith. Build your most holy faith. Be in church. Listen to the word of God. Read your Bible. Some of you don't read the Bible ever, ever. You, you read another new Bible called TikTok. Do you know there's a new Bible called TikTok? Ask anybody, do you have that Bible? Ask anybody, do you have that Bible? It's the latest version of the Bibles. Uh, we have got New King James. We have got a new NIV. But now we have got a new Bible called TikTok Bible. Are, are you a reader of TikTok Bible? Please watch out. How long do you read your Bible? How much time do you spend on Facebook? Are you not being enticed? Are you not being pulled away from the faith? I wish there was no TikTok. You used to be in prayer because there was no TikTok. You used to be uh, reading the Bible because there was no Facebook. I wish there was no Facebook in your life. But you can overcome it. You can refuse to be enticed and say, yes, I'm going to watch this and this on TikTok. And don't let TikTok control you. Control it. Don't just let it. And know it brings those things that make laughter like demons inside. They, like, they laugh like demons. Do you hear them laughing like demons? They're enticing you. When you hear that cracking laughter, know the demon is behind it. Now I'm losing my TikTok friends. I'm saying, how much time? The devil is enticing the world. I told you the systems of the world are in the hands of the evil one. Please say amen at least. I said, the whole systems of the world, church, they are in the hands of the evil one. He's, con he's in control of, you know, the, when the Bible says the world is in the hands of the evil one, it's the systems. You understand? It's a system. It's a system. Uh, systems are only mwengu. Not that we shall not use TikTok. Not that we shall not use Facebook. Not that we shall not use Instagram. But we shall use it for our purpose. We shall not let it control us. I'm not getting a single amen. Come on, TikTokers. Am I blessing you? Somebody say, I'm not drifting away. Somebody say, I refuse to be enticed. Somebody say, I'm holding my ground. Please hold fast to what you have. Lest somebody takes your crown. Now look, the Bible says this in 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, that the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. They cannot see light of the gospel of the glory of Christ who is the image of God. The devil does not just entice but he blinds. Let me try to jump to something and get a conclusion because my time is almost out. Let me get somewhere. Please write this and go and read it at home because now we are reducing your TikTok time. We are increasing your Bible time. Write 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3 and verse 14. Go read it at home. These are places where the enemy succeeded. But I want to read, um, please also write First John chapter 2, verse 16. Write, Jacob, write, write, write that. What I'm saying is homework. Because I'm reducing your TikTok time. I'm increasing passion for where you belong. The devil will not steal any one of us. I say the devil will not steal any one of us. We are sober, we are vigilant. We are aware of the devil's schemes. To make us look like the people of the world. Yet we are born again. We belong to God. The Bible says. 
I want to read First Chronicles chapter 21, verse 1 and 2, so that just to show you that the enemy sometimes succeeds if you're not sober, if you're not vigilant, you just think it's just a something, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing this, I'm doing that. But look, thank you. First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 2, 21, verse 1 and 2. First Chronicles chapter 21 to 1. God bless you. Give me verse 1. The Bible says, are you there? Are you sober? Are you watchful? Please watch the screen now. The Bible says what? And move David to number Israel. Read it again. And Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number. Please read it again. Please read it at that time. Can you imagine? You remember when David called Joab and said to Joab, I want you to number the men of war in Israel. Do you know who was behind it? Can you imagine? You must be sober. You must smell. And the reason why I've given you that, 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 that quotation of a, a, a first John chapter 2 verse 16, some of the things that will take you down very fast is pride. Tell your neighbor pride. The man behind every time you feel so proud and arrogant is Satan. Pride is a mark that you are getting full of the devil. Ukiona umeanza kuingia kiburi. Eh? No now for sure. There is no doubt. You are full of who? You are full of who? No, the devil has, is not just taking you slowly. He has gotten you. The reason why David was gotten is because of pride. He had seen, he has conquered all territories. The more the Lord lifts you, keep humbling yourself. I wish I get a hundred percent amen for that. Because for sure this is your best year ever. You will drive a car, remain humble. You will build a house, remain humble. You will get promotion, remain humble. David had conquered nations all around him. He had no single person who would talk against David. And at that time, the Bible says, he commands Joab, the commander of his forces, Please, is it right? Continue. The Bible says, so David said to Joab and the leaders, get the people, get number Israel from Bathsheba to Dan and bring the number eh, 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 of them to me that I may know it. Look at the next word. And Joab answered, may the Lord make his people a hundred times more than he, they are. But my Lord, the king, uh, are they not all my Lord's servant? Why then does my Lord require this thing? Why should he uh, uh, why should why should I should what he be a cause of guilt in Israel? What wale wengine watu wanaona? Na nimekwambia shetani hata wewe kuja na mapembe, hata kuja na mkia, hata kuja kama malaika wa nini? Wa nuru. Sasa unajiuliza kuhesabu tu hii kanisa ni watu wangapi wako hapa, dhambi kwa wapi? Unaelewa? Kuhesabu tu niko na pesa ngapi, dhambi kwa wapi? nisikize mahali daudi alikuwa ametoka akiwa goriath hakuwa mtu hakuwa na pesa hakuwa na majeshi na alishinda sasa kiburi kimeanza kuingia mimi nina majeshi mengi hakuna anayeniweza wajua kiburi kimetoka wapi kwa shetani the devil may not come with his horns stay humble i'm talking to you people of god because I don't have time to go everywhere I wanted us to go today. One way of conquering the devil, be sober. Smell. Why am I doing? Always question yourself. Why am I missing church? Why am I going to this function? Why am I accepting this? Why am I drifting? Ask yourself. Jihoji, na nikwambia ukweli, kabla ta aijazimishwa, 
Roho huwa anaongea na moyo wako kila wakati. Wacha kukiuka ama kuignore. Hiyo sauti naongea. Na mimi napenda sana Bora sauti na kuongelesha Mungu bado wako na wewe. Kuna wakati wewe inafika hiyo sauti inazimika kabisa. Mungu amekuacha. Do you know that? Wakati unasikia sauti na kuambia kwa nini unakosa focus na bado uko town, kwa nini unakosa eh, greaser wa na bado sauti hiyo inabanisha bado mko na Mungu. Wakati Mungu atachoka hata kuongelesha tena. Anakuachilia. Amekuachilia nani? Sitaki kukuambia. Kwa maana umeshabebwa, umebebwa 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 baka the mirror the mirror imekwisha the holy when the mirror kwisha ukisema the holy ghost is out he has he has gotten out amekuacha sasa now at that time dunapataga mtu ambao ulijua kabisa ni ndugu hakuna kitu hawezi kafanya kwa hii dunia niliona ndugu moja sitamtaja jina alibarikiwa tukiwa Mombasa mbeleni i hope hata watch hii video kwa jina la Yesu. I bind it from him in Jesus name. Hata kijaribu kuwatch, avutiwa kuwatch ni mingine. Alibarikiwa huyo ndugu alikuwa askari rungu. Askari rungu. Au unaonaga wakisimama kwa mlango. Mungu akambariki, akafanya supervisor. Tukiangalia na ma, na macho. Ai akabarikiwa ndugu acha abarikiwe. Mungu akamsaidia akafungua kampuni. Ai hata haikuwa kampuni zikageuka kuwa makampuni ha? in terms of group of companies huyo ndugu alikuwa ameoa msichana ambaye si wa kabila lake lakini sasa kwa maana pesa zimeingia mamake akaja akamwambia sasa ndio wakati wa kuo unajua kuna kabila aziamini umeoa kampaka uoe mtu wa kabila lao na hiyo pia ukabila huo bado ni pe hata kuna kwa una free kabila yenyu tu ndio Mungu aliumba hiyo ukisikia kitu ya ukabila you are you are getting enticed by the devil tribalism if is of the devil when you start looking at people by the family by the tribe they come from know for sure you are not operating under god and the mama came akamletea msichana kwa maana ndugu anajaribu tunajaribu ku encourage ndugu tunamjaribu the brother was doing hey kuna mtu anakuja na Mercedes Benz leo kwa church kesho anakuja na Range Rover siku moja fungua sikapotelea hapo akafungia fungua sijui kwa gari hii akatumana German ai hii hi, gari kaacho hapo kwa church a green Mercedes Benz ikaacho tu hapo kwa church ah ndugu alikuwa anaendelea vizuri lakini kila hakujua the devil is now enticing him the devil is now alijenga nyumba kubwa kaitana tufungue tukafungua nyumba kubwa hii kubwa pesa ziko baada ya tumetoka uhanga la akaingia seriously na hiyo nyumba pia iko na baa ndani ah ndugu alidanganywa na mamake mama akakasirika kama hautaoa eh sasa sasa kabila gani kama hautaoa huyu kabila yetu lazima kaletoa msichana mkafungua na msichana hapo ah bibi akaambia wewe acha mchezo huyu lazima awe sasa akafungiwa na msichana kwa nyumba Nabii ya kwanza akavumilia sijui siku wa huko kwa nyumba kwa bedroom si kuona. Nabii alivumilia siku ya pili lakini labda hakutoboa kwa maana baadaye ilikuja ikawa mambo mengi ya familia, mambo mengi ya familia tukajaribu haikuwezekana. Ndugu kweli amebarikiwa. Lakini shetani ameshampata. The devil can scheme for you for nine years. Every year anapanga kuondosha kadogo tu, kadogo tu, kadogo tu, kadogo tu. Mwishowe wa ndugu hufanya mambo Nilikuwa naona hiyo gari kubwa nikikaa Baxan sikio nilikuwa nakaa Baxan naona gari kubwa imepakiwa hapo nje ya ba yani inaniuma nikiimagine huyu ndugu vile Mungu ame na kule amemtoa ah huh? please be cognizant of the enemy's schemes god bless you i'm saying be sober be vigilant david you cannot imagine that is the enemy who wants to do you know after the I'm closing with this cause my time has gone out but I'll continue I'll, in the second service I'll move on with this cause it's burning in my heart it's burning in me to teach the people to be spiritually aware tusichukuliwe hivi hivi we are strong we are here to conquer the world hallelujah we are here to make the devil pray for rapture faster cause he cannot do us nothing hallelujah You can imagine is a devil 
who is standing, he wants to destroy Israel. Anamweka Daudi Kiburi, anamwambia sasa hesabu watu. Kumbe anajua akifanya hivyo, atamuudhi Mungu. Na akimuudhi Mungu kutaingia hukumu. Ukiingia hukumu Israeli hata bila adui wale amewashinda wote kuwapiga tauni tawapiga When I saw give me that verse 1 when I saw it's a devil who stood against Israel and moved David it woke me to tell you be sober Before you take any action please and listen I've closed this is just a discount listen to your heart Ukisikia moyo unakwambia kitu Wacha kupiga na moyo. It is God saving you. The Lord sees 10 years to come. He sees 20 years to come. He can see what the enemy, but I told you, salvation is free will. The devil asks for permission to mess you up, but because God can never force you to stay in Christ, he allows him. Same thing you see in the garden of Eden. The Lord puts a tree of knowledge of good and evil. He says to Adam, please, don't ever eat of that fruit. For the day you shall eat the fruit of that tree, you shall die, surely die. You remember that? But he cannot take away the tree. He cannot put angels to shield Adam. Don't, don't get there, don't get there. Because God has given us free will. We are in a world where you have got free will. You can be taken by the devil, you can be taken by God. It's you who has the final choice. Choose to be sober. God bless you. Choose to be vigilant. May your discernment be awakened today. May your sensitivity be awakened today. May you be able to see beyond the physical from today. That you shall understand what the devil's schemes are over your life. In Jesus name. Please stand up on your feet. I want to pray for the spirit of discernment. Somebody say spirit of discernment. Because as you see in that verse, not everything is as you see it. Some of the things are, the devil is a schemer. And I, Please choir. Design is time to come to the altar. I want us to pray for the spirit of discernment. Spiritual awakeness. That no one of us will be taken by the enemy just because of our ignorance. Remember the first verse that we read? Put it on the screen as we begin to pray. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse number 11. As we begin to pray, may I pray that we shall keep the devil running. Hey, we have been told be sober in, in, in second Peter, first Peter 5, 8. They have said be sober and vigilant. We have to stay sober and vigilant. We know that our enemy, our adversary, the devil, is moving to and fro, looking for him whom to devour. Let's do this one now. One to go. Should take what? Why? Ignorance will defeat you today. In the name of Jesus, we are aware that the devil is in town. We are aware that the devil is within our friends. We are aware the devil is within our endeavors. We want money, but you know the devil is around there. Amen. We shall not be afraid to take money, but we shall be strong in the Lord. So that we are sensitive. Nobody takes us out of the will of God. Are you ready to sing something? It is touched your grace Life has changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life has changed I will never Holy be Ghost. the same Open I've every eye your grace. Open My every eye today has Fill us with discernment I will never Holy Ghost. be the same no one will be taken Just in the plans of the devil. Life has changed. I will never, I will never be the same. Just in your grace. Life. Life has changed. I will never, never Anyone drifting away, give them to be sober. Give them to be vigilant. Touch your 
says in Ephesians 1 18 and the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know the hope of your calling and what are the riches of the glory of an inheritance in the saints lift up your hands pray for the spirit of enlightenment that your eyes may be opened pray when you pray today you shall discover that so many things are happening around you when you pray God is going to answer you because I'm also joining you in prayer. Omba mungu ni fungue macho. Ni waza kuwana mitego hii yote. Sitaki kuingizwa kunaswa. Sitaki kunaswa pole pole. Sitaki kuelekezwa njia sitachagua. Somebody know that the devil is called the old serpent. It's an old serpent. He's very tricky. He knows what he's planning for the next seven, ten years. But pray that the Lord shall open your eyes shall give you discernment, shall give you sensitivity to understand that the devil and all his schemes, his wills and his schemes against you. Pray today. Pray, Lord, open my eyes. Some of you shall be able to see your friends. Some of the people you call friends, they are planted by the devil. Some of the places you have been going is an enemy scheme. Some of the drifting you have been drifting is an enemy step by step. Dragging you, pulling you, strategizing for you. Pray, pray. Be honest in this prayer. Be honest in this prayer. This prayer means a lot for your life. The whole earth is in the hands of the wicked one. We know it, but we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His mind. Pray that your eyes may be open. Pray that you may be full of discernment. In the book of First Corinthians 12, verse number 10, the Lord give you the spirit of discernment. The spirit of discernment. That you may be able to discern the will of God. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Shara magando bosu kabara bashinda. Rekada ba 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 kanto bosuta. Yekada ba 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 Holy Spirit, open our eyes. Open our understanding. Eyes today. Everybody receive a new pair of eyes in the Spirit to see the invisible, to see the future, to see the enemy schemes, to see the strategies, and stand firm and be able to do the will of God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Oh Jesus, let there be discernment. Let there be spirit of discernment over everyone. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Some of you are surrounded by things that you think they are no more. But after this prayer, please put your faith, even Jesus prayed for Peter's faith, that it may not fail. After this hearing that has created this kind of faith, of what is happening around you, I want to pray that God will open your eyes. Some of the people you call friends, they are enemies. Some of the things that you have been doing, you have drifted very far. But after this, God will open your eyes. And you shall hear strongly in your heart to take away some things from you. To turn away from ways you are going to. And God will be happy again with your life. Lift up your hands.
to God and open your faith and agree with me as I pray for you for discernment. Father, it's in you, Lord, the victory of believers. Lord, you said Simon, Simon, Satan has asked for you to swift you like wheat, but prayer, <laughs> you said I prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And this day I pray for a gift of the Spirit. In 1 Corinthians 12, 10, the gift of discernment, the gift of sniffing, the gift of smelling the enemy and his strategies. Father, you say that we ask for spiritual gifts. Today, I pray for a church full of the spirit of discernment. I pray for the enlightenment of every eye to see beyond the physical world. You created both visible and invisible. Now I pray the spirits of dominions and thrones and principalities and powers in the heavenly places from today they shall be visible and their strategies to every one of these believers receive the spirit of discernment receive the spirit of discernment may the spiritual realm be bare and naked before your eyes may you smell their lies may you sniff their lies beyond what they speak I declare opening of your spiritual ears you shall hear beyond what they are saying you shall understand beyond the languages in the name of Jesus every place the devil had drifted you from today I open your eyes to see where you are and the devil shall lose you in the name of Jesus Christ I command a turning back to where you were spiritually you shall be strong in prayer you shall be strong in fasting you shall be powerful in business using the powers of God I declare from today your eyes are open and your spirit of discernment is awakened in Jesus name those who believe in prayer shout amen, amen. clap and praise the Lord let me tell you what will happen. You remember what happened in the Garden of Eden? When they ate the fruit, you remember? What happened to them? Their eyes? Because there are things that you are able to see that you're not seeing now. Today by this prayer, your spiritual eyes are open. You will discover things just around you and you'll wonder, Ili kujaji hapa. The devil is a liar. That's why I read you the book of Corinthians. The devil has blinded their eyes. First Corinthians 4. The devil has blinded. The devil can blind you. Back unafanya vitu ambavi watu nashaka. Ni uyu kweli. But today, your eyes are open. Anything the enemy had done around you, you shall be able to see it with your naked eyes. Of course, it's the spiritual eyes. But you shall see everything in the open. And you shall go back. And God will be very happy with you. I will never be the same. Touched your grace. My life has changed. Never, 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 never. I will never be the same. Touched. I touched your grace. My life has changed. Never, 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 never. I will never be the same.
physical body. If you are sick in your body, touch where you are suffering. It shall be healed immediately. Don't care the name of sickness. Care the name of the healer. His name is Jehovah Rapha. I want to pray now. I've prayed like this many years, just telling people to touch where they suffer. And I've had testimonies of healings. It's just borrowing your hand because Jesus said, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So it's just borrowing your hand. Even if you are listening to me far away, online service, you are not able to be here because of sickness. Now is the hour to heal you permanently. We are scoring it today with the devil. By his stripes, you were healed. Every power of the enemy, every force of witchcraft, every power of sickness and disease I rise against you in the name of Jesus I tear you apart I crush you under my feet I command you to lose this believer no matter the name of the sickness I declare by the stripes of Jesus you were healed and I release healing like a river I answer all your questions from your head to your toe. Be healed. Be made whole. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Whether it was a bones or blood or tumor or headache or cancer or issues of fever, I have put them all under my feet. Somebody shout, I'm healed. Someone shout, I'm healed. Hundred percent. Say, and the devil can do nothing about it. Say that again, and the devil can do that nothing about it. You are completely healed. I enjoyed the testimony of Bettina. No, I mean, you, are here, you are here in that Shabbat. Some of you don't come for Shabbat. The devil is a liar. Now we have taken away all the evening services. We are preaching the gospel. Today, men are preaching the gospel in in fig tree to my own way bad as a john ili to optimize kile to liahidi ku win 10,000 souls tunaenda fig tree usiongozo na shetani kuenda kuenda wapi kuenda wapi jako kuenda wapi john mati usiongozo na shetani kuenda unenda wapi uno eh wanaenda wapi ya watu the neighbors two rivers how can you even you can't even compare serving God and being taken round by that that thing is not even sweet I'm telling you ata yo jicho chote unapanda ata uju kama uko juu ama uko chini no 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 today all men we are going to win souls come on conquer the devil today hallelujah I was saying and next Sunday is Shabbat Sunday. Some people miss Shabbat. You don't want to bring your testimony. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the words, that's how to keep yourself in victory. The only Sunday evening you have left with is Shabbat. We cannot touch that one. Amen. Because you've got to keep testifying and conquering. On last Shabbat, I had Bettina say, she came to service. She was sick of stomach ulcers. She was not eating what and what. You are leading the service that day. She could not eat meat, karanga, skuma wiki, tomato. She count, eh? what did she say? Pili pili. She could not eat. Then I just said in the service, touch where you are suffering for a long time. She had not eaten that. She was engaged at that time. And then when they, after that prayer, she 
she went out with her fiance. And only point get caught early there. The fiance knew what she could not eat. But Sekuyo Akasema, Nipanini, Mokuskia Karanga, Karangana, Naskuma week. Immediately after prayer, she went with her fiance and she asked for Karanga, Ambay Mekwa tomato, Na Naskuma, Alkulasima Machapati. Nasima. She was asked, Can you imagine? She took the skuma and the karanga and until today. Until today. So if I tell you you are healed, you are healed permanently. Come on, shout, I'm healed. God bless you. Please sit down. Please sit down. That I may be sober and vigilant. <laughs> Today we have learned to be what? Sober and vigilant. I want to be sober. It's our time to give unto the Lord. No, no, no. That's not it. Please, it's our time to give to the Lord. Be a cheerful giver. Now look at me people before you give. Today is second Sunday. Second Sunday we give for what? Someone say for projects. But some of you, even last Sunday, you did not give for your kingdom investment. Mulize Mwenzako, how now? Mulize, how now? Please, how shall we continue like this? I, I saw the giving for kingdom investment. Please, we must follow vision. Somebody say, we have a vision. Say again, we have a vision. We have a vision to take our city. And we cannot take it on a rented place. Amen. When we shall own the ground, the city shall belong to us. If you did not give for kingdom investment, ashes, ashes, today you are giving two envelopes. One for, one for, one for what? Project. Today, Mimi Sita Rudi Nyuma, leo tunatoa kwa jiri ya projects, Tulianza kuweka milango kule chini. Simulona tumega, hizo rooms kwa na milango ija kamilika. So what we are giving for project, nataka tuweke vio kama hizi, zigawanye hizo room. Ndiyo wageni wakiwa pande moja, sandi siku ineza kawa pande nyingine. Wamamu waneza kawa naombea pande hii, na pande ingine tunafudisha new believers. Sin sawa sawa. Sin sawa sawa. That's why we are giving two offerings today. Na haturudi nyuma. Last Sunday, if you did not give you are kingdom investment. You must give it by next Sunday. So that we can keep progressing. Can we progress? Remember our, our strategy this year is to get a minimum of 8 million for kingdom investment. How much? Did you give last Sunday? You gave. You give next Sunday. God, thank you. You have encouraged. Did you give for kingdom investment? Oh, my church. Hey, Asante Binti. A command how could we call us Sunday? Ulikua. Eh, Elikua joint service. Katikatia weekend, Kaskia Kupigia Sim Nikasau ten. Jacob, Ulitua Kingdom Investment. You give. I shikabasha. To Malizane. Mr. Kidenam. I, Martin, thank you. Please encourage me, people of God. How many were not? Did you give? But by the way, even me, I didn't give my Kingdom Investment last Sunday. I didn't. You gave. Yes, you brought it. Did you give? Not yet. Please. Please, if you did not give your kingdom investment, let's walk in truth. And together we shall do it. Please come with for your envelope. Mama, did you give your kingdom investment? You gave? We are walking in truth. Robert, did you give your kingdom investment? Yes, Mama. I don't know you Tom, did you give? Unatoaga? Please, everybody, it's not a sin. Dambi ni kujificha, kama Adam na Eva. Come, Mudon, did you give? Oh, you have yours. Thank you, I've encouraged me. Have you given kingdom investment? Anto, you can be saying Anton. Anton is back. Pigian ni makofi. Uli kijana wetu. Wakati, wakati tukua tunatengeneza hapa, this young man did a lot, a lot, a lot. Please, come for your envelope 
if you have not given kingdom invest, don't be shy. Peter, you gave. Hey, you're number one. God bless you. Come, my sister. Please take it. Encourage me. Let's do this together. God bless you so much. We shall win. One day. We shall be in our own building. I remember you gave Wasike. I took your envelope last Sunday. We shall be in our own building. Praising the Lord. Little by little we are taking ground. Amen. Please, did you give all of you? Let me look at your eyes. Look at me. I, eyeball to eyeball. Did you give? Not yet. God bless you. You gave? Please, take it. We must be the first. Give me a hug. If you did. Manishinda. Manishinda. Na confess dambi yangu. Sinona. Miss you only higher confess dambi yangu. Did you give? Just when you are a giver, I know. Ikoko basha teari. Thank you so much. Hey, I like that. If we walk, Bible says, if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another. So today we are giving for project, at least to some guests and Hapochini, and by that we are moving forward. Please, minister, as you do these givings. Higher, higher, yeah, yeah. Higher, higher, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we honor you this morning. We praise you, Father, for who you are, Lord, in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word that you have sent to our spirits.
that Lord you may awaken our hearts Lord of heaven we shall be strong we shall overcome every temptation we shall bring down every trials in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you for enlightening our eyes O oh God father we pray for our spirits even our hearts Lord of heaven as we stand before you we stand with our offerings with our seed with our givings Lord for you are God who receives offerings Lord we pray that you may receive them and bless us Lord change our lives and our destinies and it is in Jesus name we have prayed and believed amen, amen. please come and lay your offering on the altar let me receive the seeds and God will bless you prepare the announcements please come please come come to this altar God bless you every one of you God bless every one of you God bless you God bless you as you lay it on the altar God bless you thank you so much God bless you my sister God bless you God bless you thank you let me receive it please thank you God bless you thank you God bless you thank you I thought you brought last Sunday <laughs> God bless you thank you so much and God bless you God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Let's have the announcements. We prayed for the media. Did we pray for the media? Do you remember we prayed for them? We pray for them again. Huh? All right. There's a powerful week ahead of us. Tomorrow, we begin praying early in the morning. Somebody say the devil has lost me. Tell him you have lost me completely. Amen. So tomorrow we begin by morning glory. And we'll be here. we we'll begin at 5 a.m. we we'll finish at 7 a.m. to allow people to go to work. So please be available for the morning glory. Amen. These are the spiritual activities that make us strong. At lunch hour, 12.30 to 1.45. The reason why Martin used to come. Now this year, on a future tenor. All those who are in town, let's strengthen our grace hour. Somebody say, I belong to town. God bless you. So, so long as you are in town, thank God that you are here in town. You could have been taken to I don't know where, but God gave you a privilege so that look at this thing spiritually so that we can maintain a spiritual altar together at lunch hour. Amen. So, so long as you are a member of this church, you must come to Grace Hour. Then we are joined by others. Some of them are passing by the streets and they just join us. So please come. Let's have Grace Hour. The order of the week service, Monday, that is tomorrow. You must be in your home Bible church. Tell your neighbor, Kesho Nilazima. When the HBC. Some HBCs are happening online. Even mine now, Pastor Eric, you see we are doing it online. You see we reported on duty after, after joint service. Our HBC was revived. I felt so happy to be in the HBC last, last Monday. Amen. Every one of us, yes, you are with you. You didn't attend. Your wife attended. <laughs> yes, at least. So, some of them are happening online, but it's okay. It's a fellowship of the brethren. Hebrews 10, 25. Do not do what? Forsake fellowship as is the manner of. Don't join that group that God says, the manner of some. Don't join those people. Amen. Hata ukikuta na Prado enda kwa HBC kwa nyumba ya jirani. Si ni vizuri. Kwa maana siku ile haikuwa nayo. So ilikuwa naenda. Ukiona kiburi tumesema leo chu. Hiyo kitu nakwambia mimi siwezi kaenda kukalia kastul. Hiyo chunga inaitwa kiburi. Enda na Prado. Unaenda kwa Mungu. Sema amen. Kwa maana ni ushirika wa wandugu. Don't forsake it. Seek it. Pigia kiongozi eh, simu muulize HBC iko wapi? Just seek God and the Lord will bless you. We have gone back to 100% attendance of HBC. Even the pastor must be in HBC. And I was. That's, where was how many come from the south? South? South in Kutoka. Kutoka wapi? New North Airport Road. Kutaramuka Kitengela. Kwenda. Siokimau. Kwenda. Adi River. Mombasa. Machakos, 
Hiyo ni saidi ya kwetu hiyo. Wangapo kutoka huko kwetu karibu na kadhaa wenzweni. Tuko wawili tu. Tuko tajipa moyo. Tunataka to recruit mpaka the biggest HBC. Eh, kwa maana mpaka adhiriva yote ni yetu. Eh, tashika mpaka watu wa Mombasa watakuja hapa. Ni wetu. So please tomorrow where are you expected to go? HBC. Kama unafanya kazi town na labda wewe unachelewa, unashindwa kufika nyumbani, please call your HBC leader but attend our convenient HBC that is downstairs. Amen. Kwa maana na hiyo ndio HBC yako. Yako inakuwa hapa chini. Umeingia? Bado kesho. Ama uko juti. Asawa, sikila uko juti. Unapigia HBC leader anaitwa Mrs. Macharia, unamwambia mimi Tom HBC yako ni hapa. Najua yako ni gani? Ngara. All right. Sawa. Asante. Tuesday, ni jam Tuesday. Vijana water please is your day. How many youths are in the house? God bless you. Every Tuesday is Jam Tuesday. And it's a powerful movement. So please don't miss Tuesday for Jam Tuesday. Wednesday, all of us come for focus. Minus. Amen. Amen. You said it. We all gather for focus. We learn the word. Last, oh, I wanted to say last, last Wednesday I was teaching. Last Wednesday I was not teaching. It was Pastor Sami who was teaching. I'll be teaching that topic this coming Wednesday. This coming Wednesday we'll be learning prophetic actions. Amen. So please don't miss this Wednesday. It's a very powerful, it's a teaching time. On Thursday we all gather for what? Please help me. On Thursday we all gather for what? When does our week begin? On Thursday we all gather for Toda and on Friday we gather for what? Exactly. For Kesha and the Lord bless you. Those are the announcements for the week. I'm not going to announce anything else, but we are preparing for a worship experience which will be on the 24th, 25th, and 26th. See, we here in Guinea will be having a worship experience. Have you been blessed? Are you happy that you came? I think the ushers got tired of receiving Dorcas ministry, but it's okay. Next Sunday, as you come, come with something for the needy. Please stand up on your feet. All men tonight, please, end up umzike. But Gioni, tunakutana hapa ama tunakutana fig tree. Tukutane, wale ambao mtakuwa mko pande hiyo, wanaume wote. We must win souls. We must win souls today. We shall be meeting at fig tree. You know where fig tree is? You know fig tree? You know fig tree? Wani mwana ume? Aya, sante. Jacob, you know fig tree? Lewa kuna mpango wakuenda kuingine. We must obey this. Carlton, Carlton, ata mimi, tunaenda Queen Souls, my brother. Asante sana. Thank you. Peter, are you reporting on Jute? So we are going to victory. And all the grace. In the love of God. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Please allow me to ask just one question. Is there anybody who is here?